Welcome to the Newton Design Series interviews with PTLs. I'm Kenny Johnston here with Graham Hayes of the Designate Project. Graham, could you tell us a little bit about uh, yourself and your background with OpenStack? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm Graham Hayes. I'm the PTL for uh, Designate for the Newton release cycle. Um, I work for Hewlett Packard Enterprise in Dublin, Ireland as a senior software engineer. Uh, <clears throat> I've been PTL for the Designate Project now for this cycle and the last cycle and I was a core for the previous a couple of cycles previous awesome cool can you tell us a little bit about designate and what it does sure so designate is uh, a consistent API that runs in front of different DNS servers so no matter what DNS server deployer has the API for end users will be the same um, because it's an easy to consume API, and we have uh, features that allow multi-tenancy or multiple multiple different groups to share the same DNS servers. It makes it uh, a lot easier for deployers to uh, allow self-service DNS. Traditionally, uh, getting a DNS record created or updated would involve a service ticket or talking to uh, the support desk, but using designated means it's a fully self-service uh, operation so users can create and delete records and zones as they see fit. Um, we also have a lot of integration uh, to merge this cycle that allows sort of automation of the creation of records and of, of whenever you boot a VM, having the the DNS name for the for the VM created at the same time, and when the VM is deleted, having it also deleted. That's awesome. That's great. Um, so coming out of the Austin Design Summit, can you tell us a little bit about what the hot topics of discussion and outcomes from those discussions were? Sure. So uh, one of the major topics we uh, worked on was we have a component called MiniDNS that uh, unfortunately is quite slow. So one of the things we looked at is how we could improve the speed. And that's driven into a wider community discussion that's happening right now about whether or not we should rewrite it in a different language than Python. Um, so <clears throat> we would prefer would prefer to be able to, but uh, <clears throat> that discussion is still ongoing. So depending on the outcome of that, we'll either have to optimize the current in-place code or replace it with uh, more native code. Um, Another big topic that came up was um, we we currently have a couple of services that are just there to do uh, repetitive tasks, and we wanted to amalgamate them into a single sort of worker model style system, uh, so that you don't have to scale up or down different services individually. You can just scale your pool of workers for end users. So the since the summit, the code for that's been progressing very nicely. So hopefully we should get that merged in the near future. And then one of the biggest things we got was docs. We need to, uh, end users always want us to improve them and we can see that from the user survey as well. So one of the things that we're pushing for this cycle is to improve the docs that we have and make sure that we put docs into the other places in OpenStack. So there's the operations guide, there's the user guide, there's the install guide, and then there's the API guide. So uh, one of the big things we want to do this cycle is just to push all of our docs to the right places and integrate in all of these different um, sections of docs. That's awesome. It sounds like the, the docs work is um, really a response to your evaluation and review of the user survey. Uh, can you talk about how the, um, the other work that you described and other discussions tie into feedback you've heard from users or operators? Uh, unfortunately for us, we didn't hear a huge amount back from the users and operators in the discussion, in the user survey. But um, we have a lot of uh, very vocal users who appear in our C channel. And one of them is the, the worker model is particularly one of them that um, we, can't, we were adding extra services and it, it caused operators to have to worry about what to scale. So that's part of the reason we're going to work a model. It also makes tasks a lot cleaner for us so that developers, when they're working on it, makes it easier. Um, from what we had, we, one of the topics we did hear back from 
uh, end user or the operators from from the survey was what other DNS servers that they wanted to have included and designate. And we've actually implemented two out of the three top requested ones so far. Um, there wasn't so much a topic for at the design summit. It was just, okay, yes, these are things we need to go do. So we've, we've gone and done them. That's awesome. That's great to hear. Um, so th there have been some identified themes across the OpenStack releases, and I'm wondering if you can speak to some of the designate work that fits those themes, themes such as scalability, resiliency, manageability, modularity, and interoperability. Sure. So the scalability one, uh, having a single service to scale will make it a lot easier for us, for end users uh, or operators even, uh, to scale the scale designate. Um, and it'll also make it more resilient because if losing um, one of the services now won't, won't necessarily mean that you've lost half of all the tasks that that particular service used to provide. It'll just, it, the tasks will still run, it'll just be slower. Um, and interoperability is something that we're working on a lot. We need, we're, we're making sure that our API is the same across uh, all of the clouds and writing Tempest tests to ensure that we don't break it for end users as they go forward. Um, and that whenever a public cloud operator stands up, designates, they can run this set of Tempest tests to make sure that they are uh, the same as everyone else who's also running it. That's great. And so, so I guess last question, putting on your crystal ball and thinking about what <laughs> might happen in, uh, in the Okada cycle. Can you give us an idea of how you see those themes um, carrying forward into Okada? Um, I can see um, scalability anyway coming into Okada as people start trying to uh, deploy this into sort of global scale private um, uh, public clouds. Um, I think that interoperability. Um, we have a sort of federated um, plugin. So if you run designate locally, you can have a federated to one that's run on a global scale. So you make the changes locally and push the, the changes get pushed up to the uh, to the global uh, designate install. And I think there'll be a lot of work around that to make it a smoother um, experience. But that's crystal ball. Things can you know, OpenStack change so so quickly and so much that we we could have users shouting about we're doing something else wrong or they need a brand new feature. And we we prefer to go with what users want than what we think the problems are. Yeah, that's great to hear. Well, so thank you for your time today, Graham, um, and thanks to all listeners for um, reviewing the Newton Design series. Um, thank you. Thanks.